It's monk chips in three minutes. Here I am. It's been ages. Anyway, I'm back again. Wanted to talk about, well, I wanted to kind of talk about Hadoop, but some things I learned at Google Cloud Next this week. So that was at the Excel Center, and they brought together their, their sort of uh, docs business with their cloud business. And, you know, there are some interesting opportunities there for them because, you know, the overlap, if you think about it, basically tons of organizations are using Google Docs. They're not using Google Cloud. Tons of organizations, CMOs, spending all their money on the AdWords. They're not using Google Cloud Platform. So the opportunities start upselling into them. And in order to do that, they need to have a good story. They're trying to do that story around data. So let's look at Hadoop. Hadoop is this big data platform. Came out of a company called Yahoo, which is now seemingly going the way of AOL, i.e. not in the right direction. But they did build this thing called Hadoop. Uh, they looked at Google's MapReduce paper and said, okay, we're building that. Uh, they built it, they open sourced it. Whole idea is if you've got a fleet, tons and tons of machines, you can do counting and sorting very effectively with Hadoop in a managed environment. But then what happened when everyone's like, oh yeah, okay, we can use this Hadoop thing to get rid of our data warehouses. He had it going on on-prem and it was like, okay, yeah, how do, we, how do we use this as the new kind of data warehouse? Don't want to spend the money with Oracle. How are we going to build this out? Distributions emerged. You've got Cloudera, you've got MapR, you've got Hortonworks. They all said, okay, we can make it easy for the enterprise to consume this, but it still isn't. It's really hard to manage Hadoop on-prem. Things are changing all the time. There are new technologies. Spark came along. You want to integrate it with Kafka. You want sort of, you know, Kafka there for the messaging and sucking everything in. You've got the different, different pieces. Um, you're probably going to have to be working out what's your scheduler. You might be using Mesos. It's got all this complicated stuff, new technology, and the distribution players, while they're there and they're making stuff consumable, it increasingly looks like the only place that it makes sense to run Hadoop is in the cloud. So then along comes Google, along comes Amazon, along comes Microsoft. Microsoft has done a deal with Hortonworks. But Amazon's uh, uh, approach is, is um, Elastic MapReduce. They're offering it as well. Google has a set of products that map really nicely to the open source categories. And I think from them, they've done a good job of packaging and they're turning over some, some good customers now. So uh, Ocado, a uh, big online retailer, a uh, grocery retailer claimed to be the biggest in the world. Um, uh, they've been a long time Google customers, customer, but they're kind of all in on this approach. They don't want to be do, doing Hadoop. They want to be doing it online. Um, we had uh, a couple of really interesting names that I unfortunately can't give you now, but the ones I can, HSBC. They spent tens of millions of pounds trying to get Hadoop working for their anti-money laundering efforts. Didn't work out. They've said, no, we can't do this. Google's going to be compliant enough. They've got the necessary regulatory compliance issues sorted. We're going to Google. We don't want to manage our own Hadoop instances anymore. A company called Qubit, they were running Hadoop on Amazon Web Services, but they said that Amazon didn't necessarily give them the flexibility for capacity planning that they wanted. They'd have to kind of, when they, 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 they outgrew it, they'd have to freeze everything, stop, move everything over, start it again. They found that a problem, so they've gone to Google. So we've got like four, five, six, seven really interesting um, marquee accounts. I can't reveal them all now, but I think it's a good story for Google and watch this space. I think Google, Hadoop, workloads going to the cloud, and yeah, Google's going to benefit. That's it from Monk Chips in three minutes. Next week, I'm off to Microsoft Build. So I have a lot of stuff to tell you about what Microsoft's up to next time you see me. Subscribe, do all the things, retweet, enjoy, come along the Monk Chips journey.